Good day and welcome to our short video on how to completely disassemble an Acer Veriton uh, mini PC, um, uh, ultra small form factor. So you can see this is the unit. We have a, uh, another video on this already on how to just get into it uh, because that's not obvious. Uh, the short version of it, however, is you look for the power button, which is here, and then you flip it over because that's the side that you, that you want to pull off. And what you do is you simply pry this, pry this off here. Okay, and you work your way around. Now, I've already pulled this off, so it comes out. Typically, what I've had to use are um, credit cards. So I just put a credit card in, slide it around, and off you go. So we're going to assume that you can cut, that you can pry that off. Yes, you need to use some effort on it. So now the next thing you need to know is um, if you want to change the hard drive, which is really the number one failing in this unit, you need to change it to a solid state disk. The disk is there, but you can't get to it because the stupid thing screwed in on the bottom. So uh, you may take the memory out and go, okay, let's just take a look at that and see that underneath there doesn't appear to be anything holding it in. So anything in the middle here, so that's good, I guess. Um, but when you uh, pull the screws out that I'm about to show you, you'll find that in fact, there is something holding it in and that's a bit annoying. It's not very hard. Anyway, you just pull out these four screws, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna yank those out right now and I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch. Okay, so you've got the uh, basic unit uh, unplugged and now you think, okay, I need to pull this up but it's stuck in the middle here, as I was saying before. So how do you get that out? Well, the first thing you have to do is pull this little USB block off. There's two clips here. You just pry them back. And uh, there's a header under here, so you just pry it up. So I'm going to pop that clip back, as you can see, so that it's not being held anymore. And this one here as well, and I'm just going to pry this up. There we go. There it is. You don't have to be too gentle with it. The header is pretty solid. It's not flimsy. Okay, there we go. Now you can see there's still nothing under there. So you want to pull the fan off. That I need the smaller screwdriver. Just three. It's hmm, odd. Would have expected four. Okay, so now I have to pull a fan off separately, which is annoying. This fan plate cover. Let's do that. And there's the fourth screw. There we go. And lift this out. And I think that's probably all that's holding this in. Let's find out. So I'm going to go over here, and move my screws out of the way so I don't lose anything. And I'm going to go to the back here and try to lift it out. And there it is. It's going to pop out. So there's probably a few cables and things that are going to get stuck, which I'm, yeah, there we go, which I'm not too concerned with. I can flip this over and I can see the one screw they have put in here to hold the stupid thing in. Isn't that annoying? Okay, so let's pull that screw out. You can see there's a place for four screws, they just haven't used them. So there it is, boys and girls. I flipped it over in the drive. Yep, the drive's just going to pop. What's it stuck on now? Oh, it's stuck on the header. Okay, that's fine. So now I'm going to put this back and I see I've pulled off the Wi-Fi antenna, which I don't much care about. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this back in, pop this solid state disc in, it's in, I'm going to flip this over again, which means disassembling it a little bit again here, we're not really disassembling, just screwing around down at this end again. So come on little buddy, let's go, there we go, I'm going to take one of the screws, looks like that one will line up, so let me just pop that in and see if that actually works or not. Yep, it's got it. Okay, so that'll stop it from moving. Not that you really have to worry about much, but there we go. Okay, so I'm being quite rough with this because uh, I'm in a hurry to get it done and because um, I don't really care about the system at all. So let me just uh, pop it in. I need to make sure that that uh, cable is out. That's the antenna. And um, not that I'm worried about the antenna, but probably other people are. So so start at this end, put the, put the headers in and then just squish it down. There you go. And then uh, don't forget to put the antenna back on which is not very challenging. Just line it up and it just clips. They're pretty standard. That's happy. So that's on. Yep, that's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put this uh, USB uh, little header add-on in. And all you really have to worry about is making sure that that um, uh, little black header lines up with the pins nicely. The rest of it will take care of itself. So uh, 
let's just get it about right. And then I'm looking at the pins underneath. You can't see that, but just you're gonna have to just line them up yourself and just pop it in. And you'll see that this will have to get pushed back and this will have to get pushed back and it will just occur when you snap it in. There's that one in. Yeah, it's in good and tight. Then let's put the CPU fan back together. So there's the heat pipe. Might as well blow it out while we're here. And that just sat in there. There it is, and let's just screw this sucker down again and I'll... Nope, that's it. Put the, put the fan back in. Might as well blow it out. Yep, it's good. That's that. That's all bolted down. That's all nice and solid. Now what I need to do is put the uh, four screws back in the corners. Uh, again, I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch. Now they're all screwed in. We just have to pop the covers on again. Um, yep, yeah, that's how that works. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Looks good. Just flipping it around. Just squeeze it down. And that's it. As we now have a nice Acer Veriton ancient uh, little box with um, a uh, solid state disc in it now. It should run very nicely. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye bye.